When wanting to learn Godot, you may feel a little bit overwhelmed as there is just too much information out there. So today I will design a 10 days plan to master Godot. With 4 years of experience in the engine and as a course instructor at Semba where I've created over 25 hours of Godot tutorials, I'm here to guide you. So for the first 2 days you're going to go to the Godot docs and follow the step by step guide. You're going to be able to find this section over here on the top and this one will teach you all the basics of the engine, for example how you should be using nodes and how you should be structuring your scenes correctly and as you can see by the way every single sub chapter or sub section is also divided into even smaller pieces of content so it is super easy to follow if you are just starting out really consider taking advantage of the grow documentation because it is one of the best documentations out there because of the things, because it is super clearly organized, also when you start following through, you will also realize the fact that it is super uh, well written and easy to follow along. So um, besides being uh, seeing notes and scenes, you will also, for example, start off uh, talking a little bit about, about the scripting languages that uh, Godot supports and also you will get to code um, some stuff inside of the engine because in this following uh, section you have creating your first script, okay? So you, you will learn how to create this player movement. After this, you will already have a basis of the Godot engine, so you're ready for day three and day four to once again use the Godot documentation, but this time follow along with the, your first to the game section. So step by step, you're going to be learning how to create this to the game over here. It is quite simple and minimalistic, but you're going to still be learning a lot of things. Such as, for example, how to display here the score. Then you also have here the, the game over menu. You also have the, the actual main menu with the title and the play button. How to move the player, how to animate it. You also have here these enemies. So it, it is a lot of content that it is super, super simplified here in the contents. Once again, everything super super uh, br broken down and literally from the first click that you have to do to create the project to the last click towards finishing it up it is every single thing explained so it is impossible that you don't understand every single thing that you do in days five and six as you have already experienced uh, the 2d environment of good you should be ready to start creating your first 3d game once again, I will refer you to the Godot documentation because once again, everything is super well divided and the game that you create is actually quite similar to the one that you would have already created in your first 2D game guide but well, uh, doing it in 3D, you're going to be able to learn much more things about cameras, positioning in 3D, etc. And by the way, all these contents that I have suggested are actually in the getting started section of the documentation so I already suggested the step by step, then your first 2D and then your first 3D. So this is like the official path that Godot is telling you to follow or to start. Because yes, indeed, these uh, text tutorials are the easiest ones to follow along. And the quality of them is just so, so good that they are the, the, the best resources for you to start out. Because if you start from scratch with a YouTube tutorial, for example, it could be a little bit complicated to actually organize everything because usually youtube tutorials are a little bit too fast maybe not too descriptive but well here and also they aren't super well divided or and organized and actually here everything is super super clear well organized divided explained etc that's why i have suggested these docs now for days seven and eight by by this time you would already have some experience in the Godot engine, both creating 2D and 3D. So I believe that now it is the time for you to start with YouTube courses. Consider that here, instead of taking a YouTube course, you can also go to some paid platform and pay there for a course. But well, I believe that if you're just starting out, you can just take some free courses, okay? And then once you actually finish these free courses, if you actually like the engine, if you actually like game development, then it is worth investing in a paid course. 
but not before that, okay? Therefore, Bracket has an amazing tutorial on how to make a video game with Godot. So you probably already know uh, this guy uh, from YouTube. As you can see, he's a huge creator. His explanations are amazing. As you can also see, the video quality is amazing. And this course in particular, what is super good is the editing, okay? Because when a course has amazing video editing, it also makes it easy to follow along because, for example, here when he's explaining what an asset is or whatever, he's actually filming this in real life. So it is amazing how how easily he, he is able to explain things. And also throughout the course, you can see that, for example, here when the, there is a chapter change, he does his, these animations or also in the middle of some explanations, he also uh, does this, for example, here, how Godot works. And he's using here some super cool animations. This is not only visual appealing, but also a, an amazing resource for somebody that wants to learn because the, this really helps you actually understand these concepts. And also, as you can see, it is a course that is rather short, just one hour and 20, even a little bit less than that. So in two days, you are going to be able to finish it up or even less. And now that you have done all that, you, you already have a pretty uh, solid basis of the Godot engine because you were able to create. Firstly, you took a step-by-step -step guide, then you created a 2D game, then a 3D game, and finally a YouTube course on another 2D game, okay? So you do have quite interesting knowledge of Godot and you already have some projects created. So for me, the next step that I would do is to change or add things in the previous games that you have created throughout these courses. Because by modifying what you already have there, you're going to be able to, of course, learn more. And also, you're not going to be directly exposed to creating a blank project and creating everything from scratch and on your own. Because that, of course, is a little bit more complicated and even overwhelming. So some ways in, in which this could be done would be, firstly, you can modify uh, the sprites and sound effects. You can either just download some online from some website or quite interesting you can also research how to create your own ones of course if it is the first time that you create your own sprites sound effects etc probably they are not going to be the best ones but you're still going to be learning a, a lot of things in terms of the design of the game so yes the first thing that you can do with all the projects that you have over there you can get to modify or add different sprites and sound effects then another thing that you can do is to change the difficulty of the game all the games that you have created, at least the ones that I suggested creating for you to learn within these 10 days, don't have any, any kind of change in the difficulty. So for example here, you, what you could do is, okay, as time passes, there should be more enemies being spawned. And this is actually quite easy to do with just a timer node and a couple of lines of code. But uh, still, this is going to be something that will add a lot of uh, thinking on your own that will help you learn more and more. And lastly, one thing that I suggest over here is to add or modify the different visual effects. Some of these courses um, may have some animations, particles, or even more stuff. So you can dive deeper into these topics, look for other courses or uh, online resources in general about how to create other animations, how to import other animations, other characters inside of the game. And in terms of the particles, there, there is all also a lot of information on that uh, for free on the internet and after doing the, all that when you're learning something it is always a loop you finish something and as soon as you finish something you have to continue learning it is a path that never ends so this is just your 10 days beginning but then you have to continue researching courses on your own looking for information courses other youtubers or whatever but always make sure that you keep on learning if all these tips were helpful, please consider subscribing for the channel. See you in the next one and bye bye.